tell me that isn't awesome. So in a previous video, I showcased a little bit of street art, and today I figured, why not showcase a little bit more? There's this strip in Chicago called the B Line that has street art all up and down it, and it's pretty awesome, and that's what we're gonna see today. But I didn't wanna do that alone, so I figured I'd bring a friend along. Hey guys, I'm Amy. Well, that's Amy. <laughs> so Amy and I today are going to walk around and look at some street art, but before we do that, I want you to know that you can actually follow her on YouTube and Instagram. She, her YouTube channel is pretty awesome, but Instagram is where she definitely shines. So I want you to take a look. I'm going to link all of those things down below. But before we do that, let's go around and look at some street art. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long, want you all night long. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost. This is what happens. See, I'm like, can you do something with me? And she's like, yeah. She's been on her phone literally the whole time, the whole time. It's not true. It's not true at all. She's I'm been just really. You know, people wonder why they can't find street art in Chicago. I'm going to show you exactly why. You ready for this? Who wants to come down here? The street art's really beautiful. And I just want to showcase it. Some of the art in Chicago, like we said last time, is some of the best art we've seen anywhere. And what we're showing you now is just a small bit of it. This. Uh, B-line section is, I would say, probably 10% of what the street art is. It's traveled this way. Okay, so I have a few questions from Instagram. Oh, all right. Um, well, hang on. Before, should we actually sit down and answer these questions? Yeah, probably. All right, we're going to sit down and answer these questions. We'll be right back. Now. Ready? All right, so we have some questions from the gram. <laughs> I love Instagram for this reason mostly. This reason alone is, it. is fantastic. I just need questions for, I ask questions to get questions. It's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I first... usually answer questions with questions just to confuse people. <laughs> All right, how many hours of practice don't we see? Wow. I don't know, none. None? <laughs> You're not seeing any of them. I don't practice uh, a lot. <laughs> right, I don't practice a lot either. You know what? It, um, when you get to a certain point, the practice is already done. It's less about practice and more about maintenance, I guess. Well, I mean, I do. I practice on specific things before I jump into them. Like, I'll do a sketch prior, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. But I guess if I'm trying to do like a new technique, I'll just test it out. Before. Yeah, yeah. Or if, like, let's say I'm doing a painting. Yeah. I'll do a, I'll do a painting first, just to, you know what I mean? To like, know what it's to know what it's like. gonna feel like, to know what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Is that that practice? I guess. I that's, guess that's considered practice. Yeah, so that's practice. An hour. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> an hour a week. An hour, maybe hour and a half. Two maybe. hours a week. Yeah. Not uh, much. When I was younger, I practiced a lot. So I used to just doodle mostly when I was a kid and like on homework and stuff but like if I was gonna make something I just made it you I know, never really yeah, sketched it. That is a good point. Practice was always when you weren't practicing. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah it was just total doodling. doodling 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 trying new things and when you doodle at least yeah. yourself when I would doodle I would always try little things I would make boxes and uh, shade them or give different perspectives of light, stuff like that. <laughs> I used to sketch my teachers. That's how I got into portraiture. Like I would sketch my teachers on homework or on like notes and stuff. I wish I did that. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't do that. I was drawing boxes, really preliminary stuff. <laughs> Let's see. 
do you revisit your old sketchbooks and elabor elaborate on them or move forward? Funny you should say that. I, that's actually a really good question. La the, the last video I did, um, I talked about revisiting an old sketchbook that oh, yeah. I had from high school. Yeah. And um, I'm going to redraw or sort of remaster everything in that. So yes. Yeah. What about I, you? So I just recently found a bunch of my old ones and I found one from when I was, oh my gosh, it's so sweet. I found one from when I was nine and the drawings are terrible, <laughs> but Aren't they like one is like of a rainbow and I was like, this is a rainbow and like, I love rainbows and it's just like, I was trying all to be really rainbows. artsy and, and yeah. <laughs> I titled all of them. Did you like, color it or was think, it black? It was, it was monochromatic. It was just black was, and white rainbow. No, and you're like, this was, is totally a rainbow. Just it was believe colored me. pencil, which I don't even use now. I actually like really don't like colored pencils. What does a rainbow look for people who are colorblind? That's a legitimate question. What does a rainbow look like? If anybody knows, comment and let me know. Yes. We got a train. But yeah, I actually do plan on revisiting those and kind of remaking some of them. Some came out like really cool. I had one. I was going through like a hard time and I was like, I'm gonna art. And I drew these like really weird melty faces <laughs> that were like super sad, but like the tones were so good on them. It was like the highlights were warm tones, the low lights were cool tones, and they just came out pretty awesome. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta redo this. Um, it's always it's always fun when you do something and you're like, hmm, I didn't expect that. Yeah. How do you know when a painting is done? Ooh. That is a great question. How do you know when a painting is done? <laughs> you, when you sign it. You don't. You don't. Yeah. You don't. They're never done. Who there was a someone was like, either a painting a painting is never finished, only abandoned. I forgot there's an oh, artist that's that said that. Quote. But I mean that's a really good quote. Yeah. A painting is never finished, just abandoned. That's Sometimes really I'm like, it's just done when I'm bored. You know, it's <laughs> it is done when I when I look at it and I'm like, I have nothing more to contribute. I think that's when it's yeah. like that. Yeah. I can add more, but not organically. Yeah. And like, if I'm being honest, sometimes it's done when I'm not getting paid enough, and I'm like, this is how much it's definitely worth. Yeah. This. <laughs> I, it's more of this is how I much can't. I've done. I need to cap myself, otherwise <laughs> yeah, I should yeah. charge twice as much on this. Do you prefer music or podcasts when you paint? Which type? Oh, that's a good one. Solid <clears throat> question. Both, actually. I was gonna say I flip flop. I flip flop. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll listen. I don't listen to serious podcasts though. I listen to like comedic and silly podcasts. I listen I'm to a lot of Joe Rogan. That's so why. I. I love him. <laughs> I'm Joe Rogan. He's just so You get a good funny. mix. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, he's I, got a mix of serious and comedic. Yeah. The ones where he has for like the sober October ones are my favorite. I love those. Bert. Bert. Tom. Um, check it out. If you haven't already, check out Joe Rogan's podcast. It's pretty for sure. Awesome. He's pretty great. Yeah. And he's like super hot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, he's cute. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I do listen to music too. I try to listen to upbeat stuff. Otherwise, I start getting sleepy or bored. I'm gonna wait for the train to pass. I think we're now gonna do that every time a train passes and you're gonna have to wait through it. <laughs> uh, I listen to both. I listen to very poppy, very quick music. Not like, not like trance or oh, no. anything like that, but I listen to pop music. Punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fast tempo, I'd say. So both. Yeah. Um, what's your least favorite style or hardest style? Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I have a least least favorite style. I don't do very much abstract, but yeah. recently I've done a few of those acrylic pours. But aside from that, I really don't. Dabble in it. It's not that it's my least. It, you know what? It was my least favorite because I was like, "This is stupid," uh, to be honest. And then I started di diving into it, and I was like, "Huh? No, yeah, this is actually no. like 
I mean, I would never say that to someone and be like, oh, your work is stupid. Because, because I'm it's, like, it's, there's value, obviously, It's to, to it. whom <laughs> you're referring to. But I was like, I would never hang this in my house. And then I made something and I was like, I would hang this in my house. Yeah, I don't... Um, I'm learning I not to judge art. That's fair. I stick to a lot of the same things. I don't branch out very often. Um, if I'm painting, I'm mainly using acrylics. If I'm drawing, I'm mainly doing pencil and paper, coloring. So, all so then stuff. maybe what's our favorite style? Acrylic. If I'm painting, I'm, I like acrylic. If I'm like acrylic. coloring, Prisma color pencils. Ooh, I yeah, love I like Prisma good... markers. See, I can't do marker. I don't know. Every time I do it, I don't like the results. It's just me. I, I started they work well. I started using them on canvas bags, and it actually oh. gets like a really cool blend. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, what about you? What's your favorite? All right, here, let's My go. What's your favorite paint? Style? Favorite paint? I love gouache because it dries fast and I can Solid. work fast. All right. <laughs> what about drawing? What's your favorite style? Favorite style would be portraits. Portraiture. Same. Same. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, average time spent on a piece. Obviously, size is a big factor. So let's go with like a 16 by 20. Average time spent I creating a piece. I would say that piece. could be so, I could spend anywhere from 20 minutes to, I think maybe I, the last one I did was like 10 hours. If we're talking a general 16 by 20, um, if you've ever watched me paint, uh, all of those painting, all the painting videos that I do, they're all done in real time, even though there's cuts. And those cuts, are all 16 by 20. Yeah, those are all 16 yeah. by 20. So, 30 minutes? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'd say 30 minutes. I usually, if I'm taking a long time, it's because I'm trying new things out. So if I'm taking over an hour, it's because I'm testing things. But if I'm not testing things and I'm doing what I already... doing what I'm used to doing 30 minutes probably yeah 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 I would say my average for something 16 by 20 most of the time they're portraits either dog or people they take a little bit longer they take a lot of longer. Interest, I would say anywhere from two to six hours on average we got another train a lot of trains busy day how do you name your paintings is there a process do some just come to mind I don't name any of my paintings. I don't either. I don't name, I name <laughs> zero of my work. I have named a few of my acrylic pores, only because I was like, oh, this kind of looks like, like I have one that's like red and oranges with a little bit of blue. I'm like, oh, Phoenix. This reminds me of a Phoenix. But it, I didn't actually name it because yeah. this is just painting. When it comes to personal stuff, I never name it. So, little background, her and I, we, t we teach painting. Um, and if we create a painting for that, sometimes we create it, sometimes we'll do other people's paintings, just, you know, that's how they're filtered in, whole thing. But if we create one, we'll name it only because it has to be named. Right. Other than that, I have named 0% like of my things. Sorry. All right. How long does it take to come up with the art design to completion? Oh. Okay. Okay. That is a good oh, question. Oh, uh... <laughs> the art I... design to completion. I would say for myself, the from the idea stage to the last stroke of the painting, probably maximum six hours. Yeah, I would say something similar. Yeah. I really don't like sketching for people. I. <laughs> So when people, I'm, I'm working on a mural coming up and the woman wanted like a rough sketch and I literally just took a black marker and just outlined what I was gonna do and I was like, it's gonna look something like this. I mean, it's gonna look nothing like that because that's marker on paper, yeah, it's not even they up don't, to size. People but don't really care, they just wanna see something. Exactly, and I was like, here's the color palette, this is roughly what it's gonna look like. I, that's just not what I do. Um, so usually there's not much of a sketch, so no. the sketch can come up within 
like an hour. Yeah. If that. And the, m mainly what the sketch is comprised of is test, testing out what works and what doesn't. For myself, I don't know if that's yeah. good for you. Yeah, I'll test like the pro like the products that I'm using, depending on what paint it is. Yeah. I use a lot of, if I'm testing a painting, I won't actually sketch it out. I'll use a lot of uh, like a mixed media paper or something that's disposable, or even on a even on a piece of palette paper or something like that, just to see how it would look or how the brush moves. Other than that, um, when I'm testing it out, um, from idea to that, it's still working. I can't, how can I take you seriously? I can't take <laughs> I can't take the question seriously. I'm trying to get my hair. Oh out my god, face. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, this question is from my grandma. And she goes, uh, where the hell did you get all of your fabulous art talent from? I got mine from Amy. <laughs> Not true. Um, I would definitely say, so my grandma actually did do watercolors and she doesn't give herself enough credit, but they were pretty good. Um, aside from that, like my dad is a musician, so like he's artistic. Um, it de definitely skipped over my mom, but. <laughs> I would say for myself, it's less of a talent and more of a skill. Yeah. I don't that's true. I don't what my natural talent comes from is noticing how to do it. So I can look at a painting and pick out exactly how it was done. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm looking at what I want to paint, I could see it on the canvas. I just know how to do it, but it took a long time to hone those skills to be able to accomplish certain things. Yeah. So it was it's not a talent for me. It's definitely I, not. I did have a teacher, Mr. Che. Hey. Hey. Mr. When, hey. Mr. Che. When I was in high school, and I, he pushed me really hard. He <gasps> would, uh, did, you, did, he, did he get in trouble? <laughs> Not physically. That's so illegal. You can't do that. I want everybody to know you physically can't push a child. No. But he school. was, I mean, he was like really hard on us, and we had AP art, so drawing and painting, which was really cool. But he would literally look at something, and he'd be like, no, I don't think it's done. Why don't you get, I'm yeah, sure, like, doesn't look done to me. Work, work on it a little, some, like, a little more. And I'd be like, ah, and then I'd stare at it for hours, and I'd be like, oh, why don't I do this? Yeah. And, and then I'd come back, and he'd be like, yep, yep, see? There it is. But it was like really like being like, hey, you have the potential, you're not pushing yourself. Yeah. I have one. Yeah. Do oh. you, I have another one. Because some, somebody asked me this Do you ever get nervous when. Doing a com like a, doing a commission thing. Like, do you get nervous still doing art? Absolutely. I see. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Pretty uh, much all of the time. Right? I'm about to do one of my first like murals. Like this? Kind of. So uh, this behind us is the Robin Williams, but I'm going to be doing a, a large face, so you'll see who that is. But I'm also doing another smaller mural first, and that one I'm nervous about. It's this big. It's like this big. It's teeny. No, it's gonna be bigger. It's a shipping oh. container, so it's fairly large. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty big. But I'm nervous. I've never done one, and I'm like, uh, just gonna wing it. So yes, I do get nervous sometimes if it's a large, mostly on larger projects. On like my dog portraits, I'm pretty confident in. So sometimes yeah. I get nervous on the timing, like if. Something's yeah. expedited. And I'm like, yeah. I don't I get nervous personally. when I teach. No, no. But I get I definitely get nervous if I'm doing something for someone every single time. Yeah. Every time. Even if I know I can do it. And I think I'm nervous because not because I think I don't know how to do it, but because I'm afraid they won't like it. Oh, and then uh, yeah. anytime I'm super I'm self deprecating. <laughs> right? Yeah. We are our worst critics. <laughs> oh my god. But anytime I've done like a big painting or a, a really like intricate um, commission, I'm like, they're gonna hate it. This is gonna be the worst thing. They're not gonna wanna like hire me again or yeah. they're gonna like, they're just gonna give it back. And then they're like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. We love this. I know. And I'm like, I'm like, are you sure you like it? I'm like, oh, okay. Like a, what, what like a, like a needy ex. Why, why am I feeling this way though? <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you okay? Are you sure? Do you need anything before I leave? <laughs> Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you mad at me? I just want the painting. I don't... What? I didn't I don't, think about this. I mean, I didn't... I don't have anything to be mad at. Do, do you want me to be mad at you? Should I be mad at you? Should I, should I be... What did you... What did you do? <laughs> Any more? 
Uh, no, that's the last question. All right, so that's the last question. I hope that you enjoyed the Q&A. I think we're gonna end it for today, what do you say? I think so. I think that's it, I think we have done, I think we've spent ourselves for we, the day. We did a lot of adventuring. Yeah, um, I really hope you like it, but, yeah. So we're gonna conclude the video there. Check out Amy's YouTube channel and her Instagram. I'll link it down below. Um, look at mine. I'm hoping you already are because if you're not, then you're not gonna see this, so it won't really matter. <laughs> but um, that's gonna be the end. We'll uh, see you in the next one. <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> Got it. Take eight.